Hello, welcome to my channel, Small Optics. My name is Jason. Now, a few months ago now, I uploaded a video on uh, how to use an equatorial mount like this one, a basic uh, EQ mount. And there was a few points, oh, by the way, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to use that for a more in-depth uh, video than this one's going to be. It's just a few points that I didn't really pick up on in uh, that video that I want to just uh, share with you now. Um, now, when it comes to polar alignment, you'll, you'll have known that you need to polar align these, okay? One thing I didn't um, like emphasize enough, if that's the right word, is that you don't have to precisely polar align uh, an EQ mount every time you use it, okay? Um, it's something that does put uh, a lot of beginners off thinking that every time they take their EQ mount out that they've got to mess about by, you know, finding the pole star and the rest of it. This is only important if you're going to be doing any kind of astrophotography, okay? Just for basic visual astronomy, a rough polar alignment is fine. And in fact, that's all I've done for the past three years. I can't even see the pole star where I am from here. It's just totally obscured by big, big trees. So, but what is important, okay, is that you do set your latitude uh, to something like where you live or, or what, part of the country uh, world you, part of the world you live in okay and that just a quick google search and you'll soon find out what your local latitude is okay again i've got a full in-depth video on how to do all that and adjust all that uh, link in the description but once you've got your um latitude set right okay the only thing you need to do then is point your telescope north and this is another really important point okay if you've got an eq mount don't think for one minute you can just take it out plonk it down and start using it okay because it will fight against you immensely all right eq mounts are designed to help you and assist you and aid you uh, following the nights uh, the stars in the night sky and if that becomes a hindrance then there's no point in having having one of these type of mounts okay so how do you know it's pointing north, okay? Because right, one thing you don't do is turn your telescope and point it north, okay? What's important, it's the mount itself that's pointing north, all right? Now, if you look at my telescope now, it's in what's called the neutral position or the starting position, okay? And you'll know you've got it right because the counterweight is is pointing towards the floor, basically, okay? It's the lowest uh, position that the counterweight will be. And the uh, telescope and uh, the counterweight uh, bar here will form like a T-shape, okay? This is the front of the telescope, if you like, okay? And this is the back of the mount, shall I? Sorry, should I, um, I should say, not the front, okay? So... Uh, not the telescope, sorry, the mount. Okay, so this is the front of the mount, this is the back of the mount. It's this face you need to face north, okay? A good little tip, I, again, I'll, I'll just briefly say this, I have mentioned this before in another video, is if you un slightly undo the, the, the nut that holds the mount that makes it uh, attached to the tripod, okay? Point the weight, line the, the weight or the mount head, however you want to, to uh, do it, so it's in line with one of your legs, okay? And then lock it off, all right? Now, if you look down here on mine, just here, I've marked, uh, I've just cut a little uh, end shape out here and stuck it on there. You can paint it. You don't even have to put a, uh, an end. You can just put a little sticker of some kind, a blob of paint, whatever, just to identify that this is the north leg. Now, all you need to do now is go outside to where you usually use your telescope and find due north. Then just mark on the ground um, the position of north, okay? Uh, if you're on concrete, you can use a bit of chalk. If you're on grass, something like a, a thumbtack or a um, golf tee. Golf tees are good for uh, identifying where north is. So now all you have to do is take your tripod out. You know which is the north leg. You point it on, on, on the dot on the floor, the mark on the floor that you've made, and you're all set to go. The, the telescope now, you just loosen off your uh, clutches like that, and now with the telescope pointing north, you can use it properly like an equatorial mount. Okay, so 
just to go over the, the main points of why I've made this video is one, you don't have to polar align, precisely polar align, okay, for visual astronomy. It's only important if you're going to be doing astrophotography, let's say, okay, and two, always make sure that the mount, okay, we'll call it the mount now, is pointing north, okay, not the telescope as such, it's the mount that you've, that's, this is your starting point always, okay, when you take it out, never ever just plonk it down and uh, expect it to work, because it just won't. Well, that about wraps it up for another video. I know this one's just a, a short one. I just wanted to make those uh, two points clear uh, about using an, an EQ mount. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, maybe think about uh, subscribing because I do do regular uploads for the new astronomer. And uh, while you're there, maybe hit that like or that thumbs up button because it really does help the channel. In the meantime, keep those EQ mounts pointing north and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.